Hey guys, it's Amber again and today I want to share with you guys my current favorite foundation and face makeup routine I guess for going out at night time. Doesn't matter if you're going out on a date, a dinner or just um, going clubbing. So I've already prepped my skin for makeup and what I use first is this product called Pore Silky Balm. And it's by the brand uh, Three Concept Eyes, which is super, super popular right now. It's a Korean brand. And it's kind of dirty, sorry. But um, it just looks white and it's kind of like a cream. But when it spreads out, it's it becomes sort of like a veil. And I apply this on any areas that have bigger pores, like say my nose and um, T-zone area, or anywhere that you feel is uneven and you want to um, fill in the, I don't want to say holes, but just, you, you get what I mean, just any uneven parts of um, your face. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that right now. second product that I apply is what everyone calls um, foundation primers and this product is actually not a primer it's a CC cream by UNT UNT is a huge brand in Taiwan that specializes in making um, just gorgeous nail polish and recently they've uh, really expanded into the skincare and uh, cosmetics area and their products are really great and this is one of my favorite products right now from that brand and I use it on a daily basis and I use it as a base for my foundation and what it does it really corrects and has a little bit of coverage but it really corrects uh, my skin tone and it provides this type of um, shine that's very popular in a lot of Korean dramas. As you can see, a lot of the K-pop stars, their complexion is completely flawless, but at the same time, it doesn't look like it's very heavy with makeup, and this is due to their skin glowing with natural skin oil, but not in a bad way, like it's oily and greasy, but in a way that it just really makes your complexion um, very youthful and, glow uh, and glowy. So this is what I'm going to use right now. I'm just going to show you guys. It, it comes out white, but when you apply it to your skin, it actually um, caters to your skin tone and it, it adjusts itself to really match um, your skin. So I'm just going to apply that all over my face and it actually comes with a um, sponge that looks like this which is really popular right now. I, the first brand that came out with this is the Shimmer Light Bulb Foundation. and I, So I'm gonna use the sponge with this uh, CC cream to apply all over my face. So I always use the fatter part to spread out the CC cream on bigger areas. And the pointy tip, you can use it to um, apply the CC cream for areas like um, like over here at the edge of your nose and, and your crease. And for the area around your eyes, you can use the pointy tip. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but um, it really corrects any redness. And it somewhat does conceal any flaws of your skin, but obviously not entirely because this is not supposed to be used as a foundation or whatnot. But obviously if you have gorgeous skin with no flaws at all or very little flaws, you can just apply this and just um, apply powder over it and you're good to go. It really depends on what you want or your skin's condition. So after I apply that, I will apply my favorite foundation, which I talked about in a lot of my other videos, which is the light bulb foundation from Shumera, this one. And instead of applying it all over my face, I'm, I'm actually going to apply it uh, on the T-zone area, my cheeks. Actually, I guess you can say the inner parts of my face. And I'm going to leave the outside part for now. And I'm going to apply it with the Hulu sponge as well.
Even after I apply the Just the Fat Light Ball Foundation alone, um, as you can see, my skin looks much better already. Um, a lot of the flaws are covered, and um, that's what I really like about this foundation is that it has really, really great coverage, but it's extremely light as well. Remember how I said leave out the outer parts of your face? And I am going to apply this um, Magic uh, White Blemish Balm Cream from Dr. Wu, which is also a local Taiwanese brand. And this is the number one rated BB cream um, on the market right now, and it's the best-selling one actually in Taiwan. And after I used it, I have no doubt whatsoever that it is rated number one because it works like a foundation and actually works better than, than most foundation because it's so easy to smooth out, it looks so natural but at the same time it provides really 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 good coverage. I was really shocked on how great it's able to cover up my flaws. Anyways, but um, this shade is actually a little too dark for my skin so I actually use it on the outside of my uh, face to make my face appear smaller. So I'm just gonna dab it on the outer parts of of my face. Just a little bit, not too much. After that's done, I use this new product. Well, it's not really new, it came out a couple months ago, but um, it's from Miss Hannah. And this product is really, really great. I really like using it right now. I use it very often. And what it does is it's a highlighting concealer. It's very similar to the very um, popular uh, product from YSL. It's called Touche Eclat. I, I don't know how to pronounce it properly. But anyways, um, it has the same, uh, same purpose. It just looks like this. And you just twist it and then the concealer comes out. I use this to uh, just highlight any parts that I want to highlight. Just dab a little bit. And just dab it on the areas that you highlight usually when you apply your face makeup. And again, as usual, I use it on the T-zone area and the area above my eyebrows. And a little bit. And a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. Some under my eyes. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but um, in the mirror, I can definitely tell that um, my just stand out more and um, the parts that I highlighted appear to be more plump. Next, I am going to use um, my concealer <laughs> to cover up any uh, acne or scars and why I did this is because what I use is actually not a concealer it's a foundation and it's by the brand Curlane and Curlane I did not buy it to use concealer but I just felt like it was it just felt so heavy on my skin to use it as a foundation so um in fact that it's a foundation, of course it's not as dry as most concealers so I figured, hmm, why not use it as a concealer and it works amazing. So this is what I use very often now as a concealer and it looks like this. And it goes a long way, there's so much in there so if I use it as a concealer obviously it's gonna last very long. I'm gonna go ahead and cover up my flaws right now. I use this product to cover up my dark circles as well just gonna come closer so you guys can see the difference. After that's done, I'm going to apply my or car powder that I am absolutely in love with right now and it's from the brand Paul and & Joe and it looks like this. It smells super wonderful and it's super cute. It comes with this little cute um, puff but I don't like using the puff because it's just way too big. So I just use my uh, powder brush and I apply this on the inner parts of my face especially the parts where I usually highlight and this is because this powder has sparkles in there so it look kind of weird if you apply it on your entire face so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now
can see I'm leaving the outer parts again for later. What I really like about this powder is that it honestly feels super, super light on the skin and it looks very light as well. It doesn't... Like, after you apply it on your skin, it just makes it look flawless, but at the same time, it doesn't add any more heaviness to it. So that's done, and I am going to apply a darker shade of compact on the outer parts of my face. Like I said earlier, it's to um, make my face appear smaller and more V-shaped. And I am using the uh, Con Powder Foundation from YSL. And this is one of my favorite products as well. But like I said, it's um, dark. So I just use it on the outer parts of my face. So the area where you apply the BB cream, you just apply this over it. You just apply And I am going to apply my highlighter the one from uh, Shiseido and it's called Illuminating Satin Face Color and it looks like this and I'm using the shade PK107 so again just apply this just a little bit that's how you usually highlight on your face and um, remember when you use something like this after you dab make sure you dust off the extra either on a tissue or I just like to do it on the mirror of this compact. And just lightly sweep across the area that you want to highlight. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my current favorite foundation routine tutorial today and if you have any questions about any of the products that I used or how I used it, feel free to leave me a comment or just message me on my Facebook page. And now I will announce the winner for last video's free giveaway which is the Shoe Mirror Sample Kit right here. And the winner is Valiana Sucantio. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, so forgive me if I'm pronouncing your, your name wrong. But it's spelled V E L Y A N A S U K A N T I O. So please private message me your full name and full address, and I will contact you as soon as I ship out the sample kit. And for this week's uh, free giveaway, I will be giving away tons of great masks that I use um, very often. I'm just going to show you guys what I will be giving away. So these two are from a local Taiwanese brands. And this one is from Christine Ladies. And I love this brand's um, masks. They really work very, very well. And, and this one is Japanese. And these two are Korean. So this is what I will be giving away this week, all these amazing masks. So anyone who subscribes my channel, comments on my video, or likes my Facebook page could be a, a uh, potential winner for this week's free giveaway. So that's it for today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful and I will see you guys soon. Bye!